Um, hello and welcome to part two of Getting a Good Latch. This is the guide for uh, the difficult to latch babies. It's an eight step process that can really help if you're having trouble with normal or uh, biologic nursing positions. So it's called the cross cradle hold. First thing you're gonna do is get a nice firm platform. I have a nice firm pillow that secures all the way around me. If you have one that's more of a C-shaped, uh, you may end up having to sew ribbons on the back so that you can tie it around you so you have a firmer, more stable platform. Okay, so got my nice platform. I'm going to raise that baby to breast height. Now you can see right now that baby is at breast height. Its position along the body should be so that at rest the nipple lays right under the baby's lip and nose. That way if the baby cranes up, and gapes, nipple will be aimed right to go over that tongue. So, abdomen to abdomen, you can even lift up the breast you're not using and park it on the baby, because that puts the chin deeper than the nose, which is what we really want for breastfeeding. Don't want them to be a parallel line with both buried in, because then moms tend to press in to make breathing room or pull tissue back, and that can slide the baby to the end. So, belly to belly, nipple at nose, works really well. Next thing I want you to do is to hold the baby by the base of the, the, the skull and the shoulders. I put my one finger under the baby's ear, my other finger under here, and the finger's kind of low on their head. And what holding them down low like that does is it allows the baby's head to go back. If you have the baby on your arm or you're holding the back of the baby's head, it puts their chin on their chest. If you put your chin down towards your chest, open your mouth wide and stick out your tongue, not a good position to eat. And most likely, you would just end up biting things. Same with the baby. If you tip your chin up, you can feel how much bigger your oral cavity is and how the back of your tongue naturally drops. So that's what we do to the baby by holding them down low and letting their head wall back a little bit. Then, I want you to hold your breast like a U. Not like a C, how it normally falls, because then you're compressing the breast and the opposite orientation is a baby's mouth. The baby's mouth is going this way and you're compressing it that way. If you hold your breast this way with your fingers plenty back, you're gonna compress it in the same orientation as the baby's mouth. It works a lot better. So, holding your breast like a big U, these fingers plenty back so you don't block the baby's chin, your thumb down near where the breast and the areola meet. You can press in a little bit and that will tip the nipple up, which will help it go up over the baby's tongue. Then you do the hardest part. You keep touching your nipple to the baby's upper lip and you wait and you keep touching and you keep waiting. The biggest thing I see is the baby goes and the moms are trying to stuff their nipple in there and it just makes a shallow latch. In order to latch well, the baby needs to open their mouth pretty wide. They need to lower their tongue and bring it forward. Baby needs to be uh, to nurse. All right, so you keep touching, you keep waiting. When that baby finally opens up big, you're going to pull the baby on. I don't want you to hook the baby on because if you hook and bend your wrist, it'll put their chin on their chest and you'll get a shallow latch. I don't want you to drag the baby across your body putting the nipple straight into the baby's mouth because that again will result in a shallow latch. You're going to have the baby close, holding your breast, and you'll pull that baby straight onto you. Okay. By doing that, you'll get a deeper latch. You can then, if you need to, adjust the baby's lip flange. You can even press down on the baby's chin and pull their shoulders in deeper to help. Give the latch a few seconds before you decide if it's great or awful. If it's bad, take them off and make them do it again. And if you think the baby's positioning is excellent, it's just not quite deep enough, you can stick your fingers in between the baby's gums, remove your breast, and then start again. Getting a good hold of the breast, touching the upper lip until the baby goes, ah, and then pull that baby on. All right. A good deep latch will result in better milk transfer and less pain, which are keys to doing this long-term. If you have any questions, you're welcome to comment here, 
or you can reach me, Katie Dunning, or you can join our Lalechi League of Central Kitsap nonprofit Facebook group. It's a closed group where you're free to ask plenty of questions. We have close to 2,000 moms, families, 